that what you should be known for is <clears throat> defeating Matt Hughes twice in less than 37 seconds combined. But everybody knows you as the Speedo guy. <laughs> well, Whose idea know. was, was – did you lose a bet with somebody? I lost a bet, and my buddy, he was going to have to uh, sleep with a 68-year-old lady. So um, so uh, I, had, I had to follow through with the, with the bet because I would have made him sleep with the lady. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, man, how much did you get paid for that? Yeah. I don't remember, but um, I got paid – uh, you know that that was one of the last the end of the sponsorship era yeah um, you know i got i mean it was over 20 so that's I, pretty I, good I should, the reason why i i know it was that because um i had to i should have pulled out of the fight if you watch that fight real carefully i i went in the hospital that fucking doctor from the ufc screwed me over thursday i went into him and i was like yo man um i got a swell in my in my arm and um so he gives me a shot of uh, of, of cortisol. Move your finger. Your and hey, Dennis, you're holding, you're covering the camera again. I had a staph hey. infection in my elbow, and um, he gave me a shot in my elbow of cortisol, which is like the wrong thing, to, or cortisol, which is the wrong thing to do to a staph infection because it blew up huge. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that fight! Like I, I get right on that guy's back and I throw the, I throw the rear naked on, and he just grabs my arm and pulls it right off. Because I have zero strength in my arm, because it's and it mm. looks if you look at the, the forearm, it looks like Popeye surprise, because it's already swollen up huge, and um, they drain like like twelve cc's of pus out of my arm at the hospital. Yeah. It, was, uh, it was terrible. <clears throat> but I, did, I, I, I didn't pull out of the fight because I had so much money in sponsorship that I was getting that I couldn't like uh, I couldn't afford to, you know. But that's, <laughs> Those times, you know, the money's tight and you're getting paid. You know, I know the UFC would have paid me my show money, but I couldn't afford to not get paid all the sponsorship, too. I would have lost like 30 or, you know, I think it was like 35000 with all the different sponsors. So I was like... Well, you know, your think- sponsors got their money's worth because yeah. you were, I mean, you were the talk of the town. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what was the conversation like after? Was Dana threw a fit? Like, I, I thought you were for sure fired. Like, there's no way this guy's ever making another uh, UFC appearance. You can't, you can't, you can't, I didn't get fired for that. You can't fire somebody for that. It was completely legal. Like, those were those were legal shorts. They were legal everything. Like, that's not – that was people's fault that, that um, that you know, the, the dressing room people that worked for they the UFC. They saw it. They clearly like it. They didn't see it. Dennis was slick about it. He wore shorts on top of it and pulled the shorts off. I Dude, I've watched it, like, 20 times trying to figure out how you got through, like, all of the I safety think, measures. They, they, uh, you're wrong though. They know what you're wearing when you go out there, and I showed them what I was wearing. They know what you're wearing before you go any, before you show anything. You have to yeah. show them your shorts, and I showed them the shorts I was wearing. So you did. I figured you hid it from them, but you just kind of did it like a last second thing. Man, there's no hiding. You can't do that. You have to show them everything that you were going to wear. That's part of the game. Wow. And uh, they, those people might have got in trouble, but I didn't get no trouble. <laughs> hey, did he come in and talk to you? Did Dana come in and talk to you about it? Did- they were. He, there's nothing to say to me. Like, like uh, you can't. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> yeah, that that's to the people in there. Like, you gotta show them your stuff before, and they make you show your stuff. So that's on them. If they saw it, didn't say anything to them. Exactly. What do you want to say? See, I I just figured like you wore shorts on top of it, walked all the way to the ring, dropped the shorts, and went in there with what it is you were wearing. That's what that's what people that don't aren't fighters they like they make up. <laughs> Not to offend, you know. I mean, you guys come up with reasons why, but that's not really how it works. And you gotta, you gotta show up all your stuff. And I was, you know, I was actually hoping when I, when I was, uh, when I was going through the the process that they would have told me that I couldn't wear them because, you know, then I would, then I would have done everything that I had to to to, to satisfy the bet. But yeah. they didn't. They wouldn't let me. Sorry. Well, what was the actual bet that you lost? Like, what what was the the wager? I'm not, I can't. But. I'll tell you what, it was uh, it was decent, but <laughs> it, it was it was some some personal stuff that has to do with personal people. So I can't okay. talk about it. We, we've all we've all made a pact not to not to say anything about it. <laughs> but, but think about it that my my boy was gonna have to sleep with a sixty eight year old lady named Zelda. So <laughs> all right, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's enough. So at UFC one forty. 